Hello everyone and welcome to another Origins of Expressions. Today we'll be going over the phrases barking up the wrong tree. Money doesn't grow on trees, like nailing jelly to a tree. What do they all have in common? They're all phrases and idioms around trees. Let's get right to work and start this video. The tree, those important woody perennial plants that humans can't live without. We have a deep rooted reliance on trees, even though we tend to take them for granted. Trees have helped transform the surface of our planet into a bustling utopia for land animals. Trees have fed, housed, and otherwise nurtured countless creatures over time, including our own arboreal ancestors. So it is no surprise, since they have been part of our lives forever, that we have phrases where trees are the main subjects. Let's jump into our first tree phrase. Barking up the wrong tree. Barking up the wrong tree means making a mistake or a false assumption about something. To pursue the wrong course of action. Um, you're barking up the wrong tree. This phrase started out due to dogs barking up into trees when they believe they have chased prey up in the tree. Like a squirrel. But the squirrel usually escapes by leaping from one tree to another. The dog doesn't know that the squirrel is not there, so he keeps barking up the wrong tree. The first time this phrase was printed was in James Kirk Pauling's Westward Ho in 1832. It reads, Here he made a note in his book, And I begun to smoke him for one of those fellows that drive a sort of trade of making books about old Kentucky and the western country. So I thought I'd send him barking up the wrong tree a little, and told him some stories that were enough to set the Mississippi afire. But he put them all down in his book. Today we still use the phrase barking up the wrong tree to say, hey, you're not right, or your assumption is wrong, or you might be a bit confused. An example sentence is, Paul tried to ask me out on a date, but I had to let him know he was barking up the wrong tree. Yikes, hope he's not too let down by the noose. Let's go ahead and move into our next phrase. Money doesn't grow on trees. Money doesn't grow on trees means money is a limited resource and is not easily acquired, so it shouldn't be spent in a careless manner. Money doesn't grow on trees, you know. So where did this phrase come from? Well, it's from the idea that leaves are abundant. Trees are full of them. So if someone runs out of cash, they cannot simply go out to their backyard and pull dollar bills off the branches of a tree. No, money is not acquired so easily. A person has to work really hard for it. The first time this is in writing is in 1891 in the Statesville Landmark newspaper. It reads, Money doesn't grow on trees here yet. Today, we still use the phrase to say that you have to work hard to get money. You just can't go outside and pick it off the trees. An example sentence is, I know you want a new bike, but I can't afford it right now. Money doesn't grow on trees, you know. Well, looks like they just got some bad news. Let's leave them and move to our next phrase. Like nailing jelly to a tree. Like nailing jelly to a tree means to deal with a very difficult problem or a problem that cannot be solved. A foolish or a worthless attempt at something. Ha! Huh, that would be like nailing jelly to a tree. In America, they say nailing jello to a tree. And jello really is just a name brand gelatin dessert that comes in fruit flavors. The origin of both these phrases actually lie in politics. Theodore Roosevelt, in 1915, wrote a letter to William Roscoe Thayer, talking about the difficulty he was having negotiating with Colombia regarding the Panama Canal. It reads, You could no more make an agreement with them than you could nail current jelly to a wall. And the failure to nail current jelly to the wall is not due to the nail. It is due to the current jelly. Even though this phrase is a little different than nailing jelly to a tree, they're talking about nailing jelly to a wall, this is where everything started. Today we use the expression nailing jelly or nailing jello, depending on where you're from, to a tree. 
Even though this expression isn't used that much, we would use it to say that the task or situation is impossible. An example sentence would be, trying to have a reasonable debate with her father is like nailing jello to a tree. Well, looks like that's a bit of a struggle. Let's allow them to finish their debate while we move on. Ooh, fun fact. Did you know that trees have such an important impact in our lives that we started naming our children after them? Yep, that's right. Tree names are big when it comes to naming our children and our four-legged furry family members. It is said that they carry roots and strength of character, which are qualities we want our children to possess. And many also have cool, relaxed vibes to them. Some of the names we see are Aspen, Asher, Birch, Elowin, Forest, Hazel, Juniper, Laurel, Magnolia, Maple, Olive, and Willow. These natural names come with some great attributes. There are so many other trees, shrubs, flowers, and nature names you can choose for your children and pets. I hope I gave you some ideas that you can use the next time you have to name somebody. Well, that's the information that I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed learning about the origins of our idioms and phrases. I would love to have you subscribe if you did. It is way easier than nailing jelly to a tree. All you have to do to subscribe to the channel is hit the button. It's quick and easy. And of course, I would really appreciate it. Oh yeah, quick question before you go. Do you know any idioms or phrases around trees? Maybe you know other idioms or phrases on an entirely different subject. I would love to see them. Leave them in the comments below. And you know, if I use one of the phrases, I'll give you a shout out. Thank you again for watching and subscribing. I really appreciate your support. Until next time, bye.